So we want to talk about my experience with people that are close to me that have contracted and lived with cancer. The first one, I guess, and the most important one is my youngest son, Edward James Tarantino. They did chemo five days a week, four hours a day. Uh, and what it did to him physically and emotionally was devastating to me. He was just became a total vegetable. Finally, it finished, and now he is on a recovery, and they're saying right at this point, he's basically clear, but he's gotta be tested every three months, saying it can reoccur just about anywhere. And then now, my kid sister, right? she came down with breast cancer, went through that surgery, and they said it was in remission. And then after so much time, boom, it spreads out other places. Now she's on chemo every day. I'm not saying don't go along with the medical system. I'm saying here's an alternative. Try it, use this as well. You know, look at these videos, listen to these tapes, all right? So you wanna take the standard medical route, go ahead, but take this as well. My best friend that I've had for years, Jerry Cupid of Cupid Records in Nashville, Tennessee, he just went through the same thing with bone cancer started out. And for the past two years, I've suffered with him going through that. And finally, just last week, he passed away from it in the hospital. Uh, and again, I told him of the alternative met, uh, methods, sent him videos and information. And he says, hey, thanks, but wouldn't pay any attention to it because the doctors say, no, don't do this. Well, uh, it is so heartbreaking and, and so devastating, more so for the people that are close to the person that is going through this. You have a son, you have a daughter, you have a husband, you have a wife, and you see this person suffering like this and there's nothing you can do about it. And you try and you research and you study and you try to come up with every possible alternative that you can and they won't listen. And then all you can do is give in to their will and wish them the best and pray for them and say, well, I pray to God that this helps you. I pray to God that you get past this. You know, and more than that, I don't know what to tell you about it. It's, I think, as hard, if not harder, on the people close to you, close to the victim, as what it is on the victim himself. Because when you truly love somebody, and you watch them just be eaten away, mill by mill, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. We do need something. We need a way to get information out there. And now I'm hearing of this organization that is doing just that. That's why I'm doing this interview. Take a look at it, people. Pay attention to it. Donate to it. Help it prosper. Let it become a force to be reckoned with. All right? We have to educate people as to what the cause and cures really are. You need to fight the cause, not the symptom. And I think that this type of organization could be a big way of getting that information out. It's through education. Educate the people, my friend. Show them what's out there. Let them see what alternatives they have. Maybe you could open some eyes and save some lives. And a whole lot of heartbreak for people that really love these poor people that are in these situations.